What's up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. And as you guys could see there just a few seconds ago, uh, I did win my previous game 31-0. Unfortunately, I was not able to save the gameplay footage from it. For some reason, it got corrupted, and it was just all glitchy to the point where it was pretty much unwatchable. So I apologize, guys, that I am going to miss a game here. But like I said, I did win 31 to nothing, so it was kind of a blowout. Meh. Nothing you can really do about it, unfortunately, in hindsight. Uh, wish that I still had the video, but what are you going to do? Anyway, though, I am going to show you guys this game, which is after I'm 3-1. and one, This is my fifth game in my head-to-head -head season. And, guys, we are going to get things started here with LaShawn McCoy off the left-hand side, unfortunately taken down in the backfield. And, by the way, this is my first offensive drive since getting rid of Bo Jackson. When I say get rid of, he's still technically on my roster, but now he's back to what the... 70 overall or 80 overall that he is as his rookie card. I forget what it is. So I am using LaShawn McCoy again. Other than this play, you are going to see Lamar Miller up the middle here. That's a team of the week, Lamar Miller. Pretty cheap item. Pretty solid running back card, though. And uh, we're going to continue to move the football here with a nice pass to Jordan Cameron there. Just a simple crossing pattern. And we pick up the first down there. LaShawn McCoy picks up five on the next play. And then we're going to run a play action pass here and check out this risky throw nearly intercepted that could have been an absolute disaster but Jordan Cameron stayed in front of it got the catch and then ran for the touchdown nice play there sets me up with a seven to nothing lead early in this one now on defense we are going to stop the run there he only gained two on his opening play and then he's going to start to throw a series of bad passes in a row look at this Sean Lee drops an interception there very next play he's going to throw another bad pass over the middle again and Sean Lee doesn't go for the interception decides to go for the swat down and then the third play this is fourth and eight already going for it of course I'm using Sean Lee this time and of course we get the interception the one time I would prefer not to get the interception because we end up losing yards there if we would have just dropped that we would have had better field position but it didn't really matter because the very next play LaShawn McCoy is going to break off a huge run here nearly broke that thing all the way for a touchdown but he is going to get taken down very next play though we are going to go play action here I've been setting it up with the run running and, and running effectively frankly and now you're going to see Vincent Jackson here crossing over the middle Randall Cunningham is my quarterback by the way now guys look at this catch by Vincent Jackson that was delicious. That is the team captain, Vincent Jackson. Catches that pass for one of the coolest animations that I've had this year in Madden. Back on defense now. And we're going to, again, try and get an interception, but it did not work out. Night Train Lane, that's the, I think, the rookie Night Train Lane that's a little bit boosted for the time being. Just gets toasted deep. I mean, that was his that was his spot. I guess you could argue that I probably could have come over there and helped, but I had to cover the middle of the field, not the right side of the field. That should have been where Night Train Lane was, but that's okay because we are going to get things going again on offense. Already up 14-7 to in this one, but we're not going to stop from there. Look at this touch pass by Randall Cunningham. That throw on the run attribute is for real with Randall Cunningham for sure. Two minutes left in this one. We send LaShawn McCoy all the way to the right side there, which allows for an underneath pass my opponent did take his defender and pull him over there to try and stop the play very next play it is a run with LaShawn McCoy he is going to get into the end zone and you're seeing a kickoff which as my boy the dream Kareem says either he messed up or I messed up give a fuck about your feelings give a fuck about your feelings massive hit there forces the fumble and we're able to pick it up and return it for a touchdown back on defense now and my opponent is finally going to get some offense going here did just pass it I don't know I don't I have no idea how that guy was wide open I, he just passed it to the sidelines and for some reason his guy was wide open look at this drop by the way you guys talk about how I need to user my players I used that guy the entire time and he still dropped it just so ridiculous but what are you gonna do we are still up 28 to 7 here 54 seconds left in this one my opponent's just throwing the ball around the field can't really get out of the pocket and eventually he is going to get frustrated enough to give it the rage quit we are going to walk away with a w in this game guys that is going to do it here i did get the win we are now four and one on the season so feeling pretty good about my chances here. Uh, I got that loss in my previous game, but I bounced back from it pretty happy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much again, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.